Hello everyone, this is Hadrian. Thank you for watching. Let's play some more Master of Orion in our Terrible Terran series. So, an interesting thing has happened in the past, uh, <laughs> I use that phrase a lot to describe this series, I know, because it has been interesting. Interesting in, in some bad ways, interesting in some good ways, but this is actually interesting in a good way. We have uh, the silicoid kind of just bursting out across into Mechlar territory here. So there could be a very large conflict between these two major players in the next couple of turns. Also, the Darlock are not doing well, and we are currently producing some Doom Stars, and I think the Darlock are going to be our first victims for a couple of reasons. One, because they're weak and we could just steamroll them and it would be entertaining, but also I think it's the Darlock that are actually keeping us from achieving our diplomatic victory. They are the race that not everyone else has encountered, and as soon as I eliminate them, we might actually be able to found the Galactic Council, because I think the humans have met everyone else. I would be very surprised if the humans hadn't met the Silicoid. So we just ended the turn. We're going to jump to a new one, see what happens. We've got a great income. It's kind of ridiculous. As you can see, the Darlock and the Silicoid are at war. So the Silicoid might take care of the Darlock for me. You never know. But I definitely want to snag Iran High from this deal. Uh, we're going to make that happen regardless. They have a bunch of military outposts, though, so I'm going to have work to do. We're going to let some turns pass here, get some construction done, research done, as we've been doing. My hope is that pretty soon we'll be able to start taking some of the high-end colonies out of rotation so that there's less going on every single turn. I've mentioned the monotony in the past couple of turns of playing on a large map, or particularly a, uh, a huge map. Um, it just get, can get a little ridiculous. Uh, so Papa has succeeded in his mission to acquire data at Psy Prime. Really? So right over here, Psy Prime is actually a uh, human colony, uh, and he is currently, what's our spy doing? I can't tell by looking there. If I click this, can I see it? No. Spy, spy, spies. Espionage. Yeah, he's infiltrating cybercrime. So that he can steal a technology. So he's one step away from stealing the technology, which is going to take some turns. So we're going to move, and it looks like we can choose production now at Torino Prime. Has maximum population. Let's go ahead and... I guess we'll do a soil enrichment facility there. Well, no, actually we don't need that, do we? Because it's already at maximum growth, so really we need research facilities. Let me go ahead and do a hollow simulator so I can stop that one guy from striking, and then we'll do an auto lab and an asteroid university, and then a missile base, just a little bit of extra defenses. Considering that's a border system with Iran high, we want that to be well defended. This is also at maximum population, Okabe Prime. We're going to do a deep core mine, followed by a research lab, and then a planetary stock exchange, because we want that money, and a mood laboratory as well. This space factory looks like it needs an upgrade, so we'll go ahead and take care of that. And then where can I send you is the question. I guess we'll send them to Torino, because that's a border system, and if somehow one of the enemy factions nearby were able to bust through Torino, they'd be able to get pretty close to my home cluster. They have to get through Rhombus, and all this is pretty heavily blockaded. But I just... Uh, actually, Case could probably use... Uh, yeah... Here's the space factory. He's on the way to Torino. We're actually going to send him to Case. You're just going to go right there. Next turn. We are at turn 379. I mean, good lord. And it's about to tell us what year it is. War continuing between the Darlock and the Silicoid. More fighting. Some back and forth there. Okay, let's move our ships and let's do some research. Ooh, Galactic Currency Exchange, a galaxy-wide central currency exchange, totally eliminates the need for hard currency, replacing it with a system of instantaneous computerized exchanges. The ease of transfer creates an ideal environment for commercial transactions and increases the income generated by all colonies from all sources. Only one available per empire and does not affect resources like gems or gold. So I guess we need to build that on our capital planet. We'll go ahead and do that to increase our income. Let's choose research now. Uh, we're all the way over here, right? Uh, let's see, molecular control. Yeah, 
we're going to go with that because that's a military recommended technology right now. We're it's going to be done in two turns. We're researching stuff so quickly. I'm not particularly concerned about which ones I pick right now because I feel like I'm ahead and I'm going to stay ahead. So let's do an advanced data center here. Speaking of research, followed by galactic currency exchange. Oh, wait, no, 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 no. Let's not do galactic currency exchange there because we need that to be on our home planet. So let's fly over to Alpha Seti and see what's going on here. It is five turns away from its Gaia transformation, which is excellent. We'll go ahead and build the Galactic Currency Exchange. And I'll go ahead and build a Space Academy as well. Trains Marines. I thought it trained spies, but oh well. Still going to be helpful. All right. We're going to do a deep core mine here, followed by deep sea cooling for some additional research and a star fortress, because that'll come in handy. Mezo Prime has, looks like a bit of a pollution problem. Also, they need to grow their population a little faster, so I'm going to move someone up into food. So let's go ahead and fix the pollution problem first. And then I'll build some ground batteries there. Trax 3 does not have a pollution problem. However, it could probably benefit from some terraforming. So we're going to do a hollow simulator there to make sure no one strikes in the future. And then 12 turns is all it is going to take to terraform this tundra planet into, I believe, an arid planet is what it will upgrade to. All right, Kronos Prime needs... Robo miners, an advanced data port, and a research lab. Going to the next turn. So in roughly 10 turns, uh, we should see our income jump when that uh, new center finishes being built on our capital planet, which is exciting. All right, the silicoid are really colonizing fast. They are spreading very quickly. So they're going to be a force to be reckoned with in the coming turns. I feel like the AI is finally waking up a little bit, which is good. Rylus 3. Fleet needs orders. Yeah, we need to upgrade this space factory. And then this is a defense fleet that we have here. Uh, we don't quite have enough money to upgrade all of those ships. But we will in another uh, 11 turns or so. So I'm going to try not to spend any money because I really want to get those upgrades done. This space factory probably needs to come back to Case to help build some of the new stuff. And I'm going to guess this fleet that needs orders is an additional space factory. Yep. Big surprise. We're going to fly you there. And now you can upgrade as well. Next turn. We have more space factories than we know what to do with right now. It's not a bad thing. We're about to finish our research. Almost have a thousand research. We probably will go over a thousand this coming turn. All right, we've had a human spy in Ursa too. We're gonna kill it, kill her rather. Let's get all our ships moved, and I guess I'll go ahead and build a jump gate in the Orion system, so that we can get there quickly if need be. The nearest jump gate is in Phantos. So that makes sense to have one a little bit closer. Huh, do I want a really nice missile or a really nice piece of armor? I feel like we should do uh, or a really nice... Um, yeah, that's what it, For a second I thought I said it wrong. But <laughs> we're going to do a really nice missile. Let's update our blueprints. Ah, it's only affecting Titans and Doom Stars. That's okay, though. There's our Doom Star. Isn't it pretty? <laughs> Cannot wait to use that thing. Our engineers await. 
All right. Also, let me adjust some volume real quick. There we go. That's a little better. All right. Distortion fields or plasma physics is the next question. Right, let's go with plasma physics because it'll give us plasma torpedoes. All right. Grusna 3 should be very close, I would imagine, to being able to just export its production. It looks like it is ready, as a matter of fact. So that's what I'm going to go ahead and set it up for. So we're going to go ahead and start taking some of our planets out of rotation, which is quite good. Let's do fungal farms here while we're still growing, a hollow simulator, atmospheric renewer, and a pollution processor, and then definitely a star fortress. Fascia 2, another one of our very nice planets, definitely needs a pollution processor, and then an advanced data center, a missile base, and then we'll do a Gaia transformation because it's only going to take you 19 turns. So, heck yeah. That that could be a much nicer world than it already is. And Fascia Prime is, of course, already a Gaia planet, so we could have two Gaia planets in one system. Notice we have over 10,000 gold now. Pretty rough pollution situation on this planet, so I'm going to fix that by installing all the relevant pollution buildings and then setting up a pollution cleanup at the very end of the queue if the double click would actually work, which it never does, but it's okay. Yeah, the silicoid are branching out quickly. They're gonna be competitive. They have now arrived in the Kita system and appear to be attacking there. So I'm going to have to move on a run high pretty quickly if I want it. But I'm not ready. I'm not ready, man. I still need, I still need to build things. Sotokan Prime. Hang on. Yeah, that's what I thought. It's the only planet in this system. So there's no point building an interplanetary administration. Let me go ahead and start building another... Can I not build a Doom Star here? I guess because I'm already building one elsewhere. Speaking of that, let's go to Empire Management and have a look at our production. I think I saw it there when I was scrolling. There it is, Doom Star 3. <laughs> Still 36 turns away. But it's being built at Grusna, which means fairly soon, yep, I'm going to go ahead and start exporting production in the next turn from Grusna 2, which will help it build a lot faster. I think that's already queued up at Grusna 3. Yep, it is. So it will be here sooner than that. All right, Virgil Prime. Where is the... Somewhere in this system, there is an interplanetary administration. There it is. It's at Virgil 2. So Virgil Prime looks like it's pretty much ready to do that exporting. Let me go ahead and set up some defense buildings that would help out. A guy transform. Actually, no, we won't do the guy transformation. That'll take too long. And we'll set it up to export because we need to start thinking about rapid military production. Okay. I think I'm going to go ahead and move on the Darlock because I can't afford to wait. I want the Iran High system, and things are looking pretty rough. So we're going to send this fleet. Chances are overwhelming that we will win anything we send it against. So we're going to send it to the Fascia system. It's going to take 11 turns? You're kidding me. Is it because the jump gate's not done yet? Yeah, the jump gate's not done. That's annoying.
once the jump gate is done, how quick would it be? It would, they would be able to go from there to there. So that would cut some time off. There's also a jump gate there. Yeah, I'm going to wait three turns before I send those ships. Because I feel like the jump gate might give me <laughs> the jump on the Darlock. Pardon the pun. So, let's do a global DNA scan. Oh, no, let's do ground batteries first here. And then T-Ray Prime needs Advanced Data Center, Starbase, Battle Station, and an Atmospheric Renewer, followed by some terraforming. Let's go ahead and set up the Atmospheric Renewer to be done a little bit sooner, because pollution's a bit of an issue on that world. All right, so we're three turns away now. As soon as that jump gate's done, we're going to send our ships to attack Iran High. We're going to try and take all three worlds at once, so I'm going to need to build some colony ships. Okay, good. The infiltration of cybercrime was completed, so now we are just moving towards stealing a technology from the humans. Our engineers have made a new discovery. All right, we've got some new weapons. Specifically, it looks like plasma torpedoes. Antimatter torpedoes. Ah, where did you come from? Yes, upgrade custom blueprint. There's the plasma torpedoes. Okay, that makes more sense. And then the Doom Star as well. Done. Our engineers await your command. Research the last tech in this tree. We're pretty close to the end of the tree. All right, we're going to upgrade these destroyers. Try not to spend any money as we move towards having about 15,000 to do some upgrading. Advanced Data Center, Auto Lab, Star Fortress. Now, where can I put this guy? Or this girl, rather. The spy's name is Quebec. <laughs> We're going to send him to Brountus. Send her to Brountus, rather. Brountus Prime. And then it looks like we have a space factory that's done here in case. So what we're going to do is build an advanced military outpost as planned. Just to start buffering up the area for any advances by the Darlock. They have officially arrived in the Iran High system, but without a colony ship. So they could destroy some planets, but they're not going to actually colonize them yet, which is good. All right, so Shader Prime has some pollution trouble. I'm not going to use this one to produce my colony ship because it's too far away. So we're going to fix that pollution problem and then build some defensive buildings. Not that Shader Prime needs it. This planet, however, Biron Prime... I will build a colony ship. It'll take three turns. And it looks like I have another option. Crux 2. This is very good. This is a, an older colony. That's oh, going to take four turns there. That's a little bit longer than I expected. All right, one turn and that jump gate is done. So in this coming turn, we'll be able to jump with this fleet and actually move on Iran High. We just need the colony ships to be ready. We offer this free leave one hand, but keep the other ready to take it back. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and accept this out of the hope that this will actually help them be introduced to the rest of the galaxy and give us the Galactic Council. You are our source of constant pressure on the crag's quietude. Quietude. Okay, whatever, dude. So they're not happy that I just did a little bit of dealing with them. All right, so it looks like Iran High is being attacked. Right. Made need to do some more blueprint upgrading, specifically to our battleship, our Titan, and our Doomstar. Is there, by any chance, an additional Doomstar model? No, there's not. Oh, yes, there might be. No, there's not. There's just the base Doomstar model. That'd be cool if there was an alternate Doomstar model. Maybe they'll add that in the future. You can change the paint theme, which is kind of neat. I think I prefer none. Just leave it as is. Done. View technology tree. Yep, 
Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and research quantum fields. Seems like the sensible next choice to make. We're going to take care of that upgrade. Fascia Prime. Let's build a colony ship here too, because it's only going to take one turn. I just want to start having colony ships ready. So we're actually going to build more than just three. Let's build another one here. Because actually, there are some more planets that I want to colonize, so I might as well take care of it. Let's build another one here. And I'll build another one here. Why not? Virgil 3 does have some pollution issues, so we're going to do a pollution cleanup. And then we're just going to have it export its production. All right, so this jump gate's done. I'm going to send this fleet immediately to the border of Iran High. It's going to take just four jumps, which is a lot better. What if we send it this way? How many jumps would it be? Four turns? Yeah, we're going to send it to the border of the Virgil system. And on that note, I will go ahead and cut this episode here, since we're now preparing to officially attack the... Um, Darlock as opposed to unofficially attack the Darlock. And then in the next one, we will probably make that happen and try and take the Iran High system from them very quickly. We'll also have to lock down those planets pretty quickly because the Silicoid have a couple of battleships in the area, and I don't want them giving me any trouble. So that's going to be a bit challenging to make sure that that uh, goes smoothly. But that'll be in the next episode or two. Thanks very much for watching. If you enjoyed, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. I upload new episodes in Terrible Terrans every day at 3 Eastern Daylight Time, which is GNT minus 4, for those of you not in the States. And comments are always welcome. Let me know what you think, and I'll see you in a bit.